We need it done this year. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. I'm Spencer. Dan. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today we are going to review, well, three technically, but all as one, micro games, uh, monsters, and the things that destroy them. Now, ages ago, we did do a Kickstarter preview that did have the, uh, the ones from The Deep, which is the second incident, and then The Dark, which is the initial incident. We also, we were lucky enough to be sent uh, The Dead, which is the, uh, the third incident. So specifically, uh, the, the Dark is, it's Universal Monsters. Yeah, well, not all, but mostly. Yeah, like, I mean, oh well, yeah, Godzilla is not a Universal exactly, Monster. Exactly. But, but Creature like, from Black, Black Lagoon, there's werewolves, yeah, Dracula, like that. Mummy. Invisible Man. Uh, there's Mummy. In the Deep, it is, uh, it's all like water, Cthulhu. Wow. The, the, uh, <laughs> right. Kraken, Godzilla, the Charybdis, Kraken, right? Because again, the Kraken, it, it feels like mainly Lovecraftian, but then there is Kraken and stuff. So like basic right. nautical stuff. Mm-hmm. And then the Dead is specifically slasher monsters of cinema from 1981 to 1990. <laughs> wow, that mm-hmm. was wow. really specific there. Which, the <laughs> which I would say that the thing is not a slasher, but I don't care. I'm happy right. Slasher. No. Well, they said slasher as a marketing term, I guess, instead of saying horror right, icons. Right, but right. yeah. But uh, anyways. So, but, but basically what you've got is you've got, you know, nautically themed monsters. You've got classic. old school, classic yeah. horror movie monsters. And then you've got like 80s horror movie monsters yep. and villains uh, or yeah. heroes. Can't wait for the 2020 horror monsters. Right. It's like just Baba Duke. It's just, yeah. it's just all of them are COVID. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. So anyways, it's very simple on how to play this game. All the instructions are on a card and basically you have... A, uh, a, p- uh, a pool of cards right here, which people are going to be drawing from. Everybody starts with one card in their disc card pile, which they can look at at any time. And uh, on your turn, you're going to draft a card. If, if you draft a uh, monster card, odds are it's got a triggered effect that you will want to resolve right away. And then if you draft a tactical card, it's not going to do anything, but it is going to eliminate one of two monsters or maybe two monsters, up to two monsters. Right. So you can see here, the change fate affects 11 and 12, and it tells you at the bottom, robot and shape, and here's the shape. He's 12, so that would cancel that yeah, out during it's, final scoring. It's all pretty It's all pretty straightforward. There's a few things where you might go, well, why, where is this, and when does this happen? But, I mean, it's it's you can logic it out relatively quickly. Uh, I uh, And then, yeah, you play till the deck's done. Once the deck is empty, then everybody gets an even amount of turns. Mm-hmm. So if, if Dan was the first player and Bob – and the deck empties out on Spencer's turn, Bob and I would each get one more turn. Uh, to then, And then you're going to discard down to two cards, and then you're going to reveal one at a time. You start with your highest numbered card, mm-hmm. and which is usually going to be a monster, and then everybody goes around revealing their cards. Once your two cards are up, you're going to resolve all of your tactical cards, which don't always specifically eliminate somebody else's monster or monsters what it could do is it might change a card from the dead zone which is like a banished area right or move it, discard piles around it, correct correct and so it, it's some interesting sort of wild end of game you know stuff that mm-hmm. can happen uh and that's i mean that's really how you play yeah it's yeah, it's, it's sure. really straightforward we we were at a game night the other night we busted it out taught uh two new people oh no you played before I played before so we just taught Jesse how to play, yeah. but he picked it up. We were waiting for the other guys to finish playing Altiplano. And they're like, oh, we got like 15 minutes left. Wasn't really 15 minutes <laughs> left, but we played a couple games of this, mm-hmm. like taught it, played a couple games of this very easily, very quickly. And we had some wild games, like really weird, swingy stuff happening. I believe I flipped backwards and hit the table and almost oh, like that's right that because was that we had game. some crazy yeah. stuff happen it was hilarious tim can't help but kick tables though. i can't <laughs> i can't i was really into it it was a lot of fun uh but anyways that's basically how it's played uh we will well, yeah at the end uh did you say that at the end you oh, had your two together i did not yeah the, the end end game matters <laughs> so it does at the end of the game you'll probably have three cards in your hand um but regardless you will discard down to two put them that put them in your discard pile uh-huh. and then the two cards that are left is what you play and you add your little scores together right so if i had if i had well i wouldn't play that uh yeah, it would eliminate that. <laughs> yeah. but if i had these two my score would be 14 if someone had this though and they revealed this then my 12 would get eliminated and my score would be two right and it's just whoever has the highest score at the end yep. wins that's it yep it's it's there's a little bit of memory to it as you're you want to pay attention to who took what. Like I thought you had the flamethrower, especially when you took the final girl. But you took the final girl to keep it away. Uh, 
So yeah. you know, there's there's some gambling. Well, plus, there, I had right? that seven eight in my hand, so fifteen wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you were yeah. you were doing better all than right. the ten. I knew somebody else had my. Well, Andrew seven and eight beat. canceled something that someone played too. So mm-hmm. triple triple threat. That's so, right. uh, anyways, we'll go into uh, components. What's in the box? Okay, components. Get sleeves. Yeah, yeah. get sleeves. You're going to yeah. go through these cards a lot. That yep. will mean they will not fit in this box, which then you're just going to be putting them in this box. Mm-hmm. I mean, the box in the insert is, I mean, it's whatever. Nice um, to be fantasy flight. Yep. <laughs> it's just a piece of cardboard. <laughs> well, the only you don't need a lot unless you're going to sleep. What kind of sucks, though, is that this box is sized perfectly that all three of these do not fit in that box. Oh, mm. no. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so that that is a bummer, but component-wise... I enjoy the artwork on the cards. It's consistently yep. cartoony all the mm-hmm. way through. I love the choices of the characters and the way that the cards play off of each other. Thematically, all make a ton of sense. They do an amazing job. Every single incident, we've got the dead out right now, but every single one of these all make perfect uh-huh. sense with how they play and who uh-huh. cancels what yeah. and everything. And it is, it is a delight for me even opening it up and the first final. time and going, oh, see what's in there? oh yeah, mm-hmm. this cancels this. Yeah, this, this, this cancels combo this. right here. The, uh, this is what yeah. you're getting with this game, and this is the kind of stuff I like. So the flamethrower counters the thing and the alien. Because? Makes perfect thematic <laughs> sense. If you've seen the movies, well, you have to see the deleted Spoilers. scenes for, for that one, I think. I don't think it's in the, the base game. Oh, no, the eggs isn't in the, in the, yeah, the yeah, but the aliens. flamethrower is. Flamethrower is but, um, So yeah. thematic, but then also... Ripley here, I mean, <laughs> final, final girl. Um, if you give her the flamethrower, which she's even holding in her picture, that's one of the best cards she can have because she adds these scores together for her score instead of the zero. So Ripley, flamethrower, alien, thing, all proc together insanely thematically. They do such a good job Well, and the that. thing also c- makes the other critter... The other card you play with turn into the thing. thing. So yeah. then he's yeah, essentially yeah, 18 yeah. points if you play two, mm-hmm. two, two monsters. monsters. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Which is... So thematic. Yeah. So thematic. So anyways, I do appreciate the simplicity of the rules right here. It is a four-player game. They give you these four cards, which tell you not only turn structure, but you could just, if you needed the turn structure up, this just marks where your discard pile is, or you could put it down if you didn't need the turn structure up, and then that way you keep track of where your discard pile is. Because yeah. you do discard face down, that's super important. Yes. Normally, I never discard face down in deck builders and everything. Correct. So to have a way to... Say this, this pile here is discard. Is specifically discard. Good so I'm job. not like, ooh, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh. exactly. <laughs> well, right, because it's just easier to say discard than not in hand. Because really it's just a card that you have that's not in your hand that you can look at at any time. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it actually is. So just say discard, though. But then because they say discard, they have to say face down. <laughs> right. So, like, there's just this winding rule set oh, there. Remember, they have hand maneuver three. So if you get four, it discard. It is technically discarding, true. But yeah. again, it's it, it just feels more like... You can only have two, three in your hand, so uh-huh. the rest go to your secondary area that you can look <laughs> at at any time, right? It's just right. it's an interesting rule set, like circle. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, I mean, it's all everything here, with the exception of the box, like not holding all three. Well, and it does though hold perfectly two of these sleeved a variant rule set we have in the rule book. So clearly, right? It was well just, sleeved. I don't know. I, we haven't sleeved it and put it in there. It only it only goes like halfway down. Oh, so, you mean well, not the cards the other sleeved. direction? Yeah, the, you mean the cards them. in their box? You said sleeved. Yeah, so take the cards out and sleeve these cards, and they will easily fit in what's left of that well. Maybe depending For on what one. size. Can you, you put one? On can the you the put it side dimension. by side? No, no. Then no, you're only fitting one sleeve. Oh, you can't put them side by side. No. I thought no. I had them in there side by side. That's uh-huh. my bad. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so that is a weird choice. I thought you could fit two because then I was like, oh, they just made it before so the third yeah, expansion was out. No, sure, but I can see what you're saying, but yeah, you can't put them two that side by no, side. That is so strange. It's not gonna fit. So these big negative on that stack, and then yeah, and I mean it, it's it's what it is. They made it. You no, know, that's how it goes on the cheap. Just just up on its side like this. Yep, just crave your arms like that. That's how it goes. <laughs> Nailed it. But th- then you've got the other Yeah, cards. then everything else There's goes rules there. for That's like weird. a metagame in here we're not really going to talk about. Uh, it's like a love-hate thing. They do add these koala cards, and I wish they had them for the dead. They don't, uh, which for higher player Yet. counts. So if you're playing with four uh, players, which we were, if we were doing one of the other sets, it's just more cards okay. that you're drawing, and there's more effects and things that Right, so do. basically like yeah, wild yeah, cards. Yeah, because that was like, what, five, t- four times around is all we yeah, did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. pretty short. Yeah, it's made to be played at, at two to three players, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, 
You can play, like I said, you can play to four. I, I think I played it with almost four players every time, mm -hmm. but and still have a really good time playing it. But uh, yeah, basically that's uh, that's components. all the components. Yeah. Uh, let's go to final thoughts. Final thoughts. Okay. Daniel. <laughs> You seem excited. What? Let's hear about what your. What made you want me to talk first? Let's hear about your final thoughts. Uh, I mean, it's a fun little. It's a fun little card game. I like it. Again, my big takeaway with it is I love how they were able to thematically fit most things into it. Now there are some loose things here or there where it's like, oh, that one's kind of it. But like for the most part, they do a fantastic job with what they choose and how they fit it all into one thematic deck. And that's really the big takeaway for me here. Um, this game is clear to design for those kind of people that like playing love letter and stuff like that at family mm. nights and stuff like that's this kind of uh the kind of hole this game is supposed to kind of fill is that little filler kind of area and i think it does a great job um uh, uh spoiler alert joey viger's kind of a friend of the show well he uh, has talked to us he, he he's kind of, of a well he talks to me about you sometimes oh. I, don't, I don't really talk to him <laughs> about that Fair enough. but uh but like i'm just saying spoiler alert, we talked to him he's really nice we are impartial we will review this game how we actually feel. Um, I like it, um, and uh, yeah, I, I, we said most everything earlier. I like all three sets. Uh, my favorite set is definitely the the, the slasher the, the one. Slasher yeah. one. Mm -hmm. I love the the artwork and the th theme and everything here. Again, I liked all three, but if we're if if you're talking to me and you say, "Hey Dan, um, like iconic slashers, Lovecraftian, or Universal monsters," I go iconic slashers every day. The other mm -hmm. two don't even come close for me. They're mm -hmm. cool, but this one's the coolest. Right, so, right. so I was really glad to see that we played this one and when I played it, like when we were playing it the first time, I was just like, ooh. I know, ooh, I know. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. the way everything yeah. was working, I loved it. So so yeah, just a, a, a really fun uh, little filler card game. That if you like those kind of games, I, I think I think you're going to get your gameplay out mm -hmm. with this one. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Uh, uh, Spencer, what do you think? Well... I've also played it pretty much always with four players, uh, and to be honest, I think four players is too much. Uh, I couldn't get any cool combos because by the time it came around to me, it's just completely random what's left. Mm -hmm. And almost every single time it was, well, that does nothing for me. Um, there were a few times where I was like, ooh, I could make a really awesome combo if I could get these things to work. But it's impossible to plan like that when you've got four players. Yeah. Uh, so, so few turns. Yeah, and so few turns. Um, for instance, we have the Necronomicon, and... The clown. If you early game you play the clown, you may swap discard piles. Necronomicon lets you take the top card of a discard pile, so you're able to know what's going on and, sure. and have better chances of stuff. But you can't really do that unless you get super lucky. Um, one time I played and I had only tactical cards. I'm like, I can't score. Oh, because no. there was. I never had a chance of getting them. I don't even there. remember that happening, but I guess, yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, uh, so the the koala set. Let me just tell you. Oh yeah. yeah. So this is like uh, choose an opponent, name a card. If they can confirm they have it, uh, they confirm they have it in hand. If they do, you may force them to trade it for this card. So you That's give like them the straight part of up koala. love. Uh, okay, okay. Love letter. Uh, <laughs> hooligan koala. Choose any card in your discard pile. You may trigger it or take it into your hand. So it allows you to pick oh, up. I like that. Uh, marching koala. You may look at any two players' hands, okay. uh, which helps. Yeah. Uh, the Rebel Koala, you may swap up to two cards from your hand with an equal number of cards from the pool, which is interesting. Uh, there's the Duplicator. That's actually huge. Choose another card. Uh, choose a card another player's revealed, and you treat the Duplicator as that card. Okay. So pretty wow. good. Invaders from Mars, though, is my favorite. Those are hardcore mitigators. 13. It's worth 13. So that's the highest one. And there's out no cancel out of all of them. There. Well, there is. Oh. If any revealed neutralizer has no valid monsters to cancel, it cancels the invaders from <laughs> Mars. <laughs> uh, nice. So, so you know, because sometimes you might be like, well, I've got... Yeah, there's no reason to play the three or four because no one's going to play them. And it's so like, it well, exactly. Makes, it now yeah. makes all of those cards Yeah, matter. those are all purely mitigators. They look at the slight issues that you were talking yeah. about, and yep. they say, how do we adjust be honest, them? And that two, sounds fantastic four, to me. <laughs> six. So that adds six more cards... To so the deck, one yeah. more round. So another round, or two, 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 two more rounds. Four, yeah. Yeah. And then four, with some, go all the way with some different, you know, things you can do. Sure. Like, yeah, that no, would I really like that. That sounds great. Without so, that, it, it's always short and kind yeah. of just a crapshoot of 
am I going to get anything useful? Sure. Mm -hmm. Almost every time I've played, it's been compared to everything I have in my hand, I can't win. Or uh, one yeah. time, um, a Jesse was playing, and everything he had was completely useless. And mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, it happens. I get it. It's a game. But I just wish I had a little bit more control over sure. what I could do. Yeah, like for me, I guess it it seems not quite light enough to be a light party game, but there's no like I felt almost no depth. You know what I mean? Like Love Letter, not a fan of Love Letter. It's like uh, I just sure. don't, I don't care for it. I love the art and the theme. Like yeah. of of the three, this dead one is hilarious, right? I love all the slasher people. I love the cards that work thematically to cancel them and to do things. I think that's great. It's just not my cup of tea. Sure. Yeah. I yeah. well, I do like Love Letter. Yeah. Uh, this is nice because it plays faster. Love Letter can drag on. Okay. Like, you know, if, if, if you know, because it's somebody who gets to so many, you mm -hmm. know, things. Right. So many points or whatever. So it can take a while sometimes. Uh, but, I mean, I say drag on. So instead of, 10 minutes, minutes, it takes 15 or so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, is that kind of sad? When, like, man, 15 minutes of this game is just way too much. Well, I when I can play a game for like five hours, I'd be like, I want more. You right. know? Yeah. <laughs> I also just would always play Lovecraft Letter instead. Yeah, it's yeah. better. Uh, but anyways, I love all three of these sets. I think each set is kind of better than the one before it, like in a weird way. Like, And maybe that's only because of my own personal preference. Like well, I really sure. enjoyed... The uh, Universal Monsters one. That's the one we played first. Right, you know, but then I you have a hardcore weakness with Lovecraft. Yeah, but <laughs> I wouldn't even say that that's very much Lovecraft. It has Cthulhu. That's the only Lovecraftian monster. Yeah, so I you guess they're all it? technically stuff. Yeah. That's all Lovecraft. <laughs> but I mean, Lovecraft. this one's Tentacle. got some, Lovecraft. some Greek mythology, you know, in it with sure. like Cari uh, uh, Cita yes. and, and Charybdis. And, you are and so, accurate. Uh, uh, and Lovecraft. stuff like that. <laughs> so, you know, the, the water monsters I thought were really cool, and, and it had some really neat abilities, like the Nautilus like was like a card that... Yeah. that, like, remember that one was, that's, that's the one, the one that by the way. The you know, that's yeah. huge. Yeah. And so, like, each game, each version kind of has its own, like, weird home run. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, if you can do that final girl flamethrower combo, like, that's your freaking home run, right? And then again... It wasn't. It was like a triple. When you get into the... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> when you get into the dead, it's just more of that. Yeah. It, they are they are all, I I think you could just tailor your experience to who you're playing with, right? Sure. Playing with Dan, oh, Dan loves like eighties play, horror. Play the crowd. Yeah. Like <laughs> every time Cenobite came up, I was like, can't not take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great because then it's like Cenobite and Michael Myers are up, and you're like, uh -huh. <laughs> and then he turned into a thing, ripped in half, and then <laughs> each one of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which was also apropos, right? Exactly. Uh, so anyways, it, for me, I have a really good time. I know you complain about some of the control. I enjoy the wildness of the ride. I agree because um, it's a six-minute game. Yeah. It is who cares game. if I if the, that, oh, that perfect combination that I spent two and a half minutes setting up, <laughs> right. you know, didn't right. work. To Both me, those minutes yeah. wasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to me, going off that, again, I mean, totally valid complaint because that's what you feel, right? So sure. totally valid complaint. But, like, to me, going into this game, you know, reading the rule book, playing the yeah. game, and going into it and saying, <laughs> reading well, the it rule, was... It reading was the rule card. Yeah, <laughs> <the rule card. laughs> um, well, going into this game and then saying, well, it played a little fast, and I felt like I didn't have enough control. It's just weird to me because it's like, it's like playing Caverna being like, there was a lot of farming in that game, wasn't there? It's like, well, yeah, it's a farming game. <laughs> you know, or yeah. playing... Or playing uh, Twilight Imperium being like, man, why? So much space. A lot of spaceships <laughs> yeah. in this game. Well, yeah, it's a space travel game. Yeah. You know, so like playing this game and saying like, yeah, it's a it's a short, chaotic game, you know, mm -hmm. and then those being your complaints is I, just weird I to me. I do feel like Spencer right. came in with like studio notes and it's like, wait, 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 <laughs> clearly, <laughs> and again, clearly. hey, if, you know, if, that, if that's because you don't tend to lean towards a game like these, just like Bob said, mm -hmm. then again, that's what makes it a total valid excuse. It's right. just that my mind doesn't even go there. Sure. Well, so. I, that agreed it's, because I'm, I'm judging the game as it is presented to me for the sure. style of game that it is that is presented it's uh okay kind of game that i would get into but like the last three times i played i ended up with zero points negative eight points uh -huh. and although i had 12 points in the end it didn't matter let me just say it feels really <laughs> good to consistently beat spencer at something because oh, yeah. it's not easy to do <laughs> yeah. and so, the only reason i had it is because i stole the 12 from your discard pile i never had a creature that was worthwhile taking mm -hmm. So I've what never I want to know is uh, <laughs> what does uh, what do the sour grapes taste like? Because that's whose what I fault feel is like that? Oh, there. it's <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, well, it's not mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I got a list right <laughs> whose fault that right isn't. here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's pretty bare. It's just one name on there, Spencer. Oh, Spencer. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <Denser. laughs> 
But no, I, I, I just, I have a fantastic time playing this very light, very fast, chaotic <laughs> game. I don't mind these. These are, this, this is like the best kind of filler game because you don't even, you spend don't as much care. time as, like, whatever. Explain right, we're the not, rules. We're play something else. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, There's no <laughs> use getting <laughs> bent out of shape, losing in this game. It's oh yeah. Like, I, mean, so I, don't, it's, I don't it's, care. It's, I just would never. Whatever. Know. Bob's writing his diary. I can't. Yeah. Believe <laughs> <any better. laughs> I lost zero. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I just I think it's a great game. I have a I have enjoyed every implementation of it, uh, and I really like it. Well, if that's mm-hmm. the case, Tim, then how about why? We should rate it. We should we rate, should rate this. this. We talked about right. it in a Kickstarter preview. We didn't actually rate it. It's so true. let's uh, let's rate this bad boy going now. I have a really good time. Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> um, so I am going to rate it the same way as everyone else, which is that we're <laughs> going we're gonna to give it a 1 out of 10. We do use point fives to vary uh-huh. things up a bit, uh, and that is in case you relate to one of us more than others, right? But then at the end, we're going to average it all together and give you one score because that's how Board Game Geek and Discord and stuff works. Yeah. It's just easier to have an umbrella score. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Bobby. Yep. Let's Bobby. go. All I want right. to get the wet blanket. Start us yeah, low, buddy. Get the wet blanket, blanket out of this out party first. Here. Shake Start it out. us low, buddy. <laughs> yep. All right. So That way we know what we have to count. Kind of <laughs> offset it a little bit. <laughs> a 13. Uh, like I said, not my cup of tea, of right? Like I don't care for these types of games, like love letters, super fast games like that. Uh, not my cup of tea. 5.5. That's oh wow! Yeah, I, I just I would not buy miserable? this. I would not. Hey, that's an above I mean, average I, I game. I would never be. Let's go play this. I would never do that. Just, oh, just sure. not my cup. If you want to play it, will I suffer through five ten minutes? Sure, I'll play. I'll, okay. I'll, well, now we said enter- suffer. So that's enter- I will different. entertain you and play this game Thank with you. you. But now you must play uh, Champions of Midgar with me. <laughs> not the same. Not the same. I have, I, have, I, have, I have turned that Princess Bride life draining machine yeah. to two minutes. That's right. And you are cranking uh, it up to two hours. <laughs> but tell us, how does it make you feel? Yeah. <laughs> for prosperity. Sake. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, five point five for me. Just because I, like, I wouldn't buy sure. it. Sure. I would suffer through it for, for Tim to appease him, <laughs> but I would never say, "Hey, let's play that game." Yeah. No. Nope. So. That's but totally other three versions. This is the best one. Sure. So, right on. Yeah. Spencer. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is a fine little short game, middle things, um, and I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. Yep. Daniel. Uh, Their uh, scores did not affect my score. Well, no. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it didn't affect mine either, but also, I'm not like... I like these kind of card games. They're not like my favorite thing ever. No. So I don't know how much you think I'm going to offset <laughs> <He's> it. Like, <laughs> but, no, but no, I, I'm giving it a 7.5. It's, sure. a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun little filler card game, and that's what I want from a game like this. Um, yeah. So, so I, full disclosure, rating this as the kind of game it is, I love these kind of games because they go fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can play it like twice, be done with it, and then put it away for a while, forget about it. Oh, hey, Forever. here's filler games. This is a nine. Like, for what this game does and the experiences that we have had, because, like, we play this and we have had, like, crazy laugh-out-loud moments as mm-hmm. cards are played mm-hmm. and drawn, and it provides a very fun experience for me. Uh, I have a great time with these kind of games. Uh, uh, so, yeah. That, I mean, that's going to average us out to 7.3. Hey. Wow. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I, I really, really, really enjoy mm-hmm. these games. It, no, I mean, it's not like... Oh, I really want to play my father's work, you know, like, Wait, or we could play the dead. Yeah. Wait, really, really quick, though, who all, who was the closest to 7.3? Because they'd be right, because it wasn't you. Oh, boy. And well, now, was it, it 7.3 wasn't you guys. or was it 7.25? <laughs> <laughs> 7.25. So oh! It was hey, you round up, bro. That's how, we do it. <laughs> That's how we do it. We round up. But, 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 I mean, this is not that kind of game, right? Right. Yeah. For this kind of game and for what this is, mm-hmm. this just hits that yeah. sweet spot. I just don't. Pick those types of, of course. Games. Yeah, no, that's yeah, totally yeah. fair. That's fine. That's why we have a diverse panel. Yep. I was the least of a uh, yeah, yeah. But anyways. I, I had hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, you know. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. I'll get there. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. For the Board Game Rundown, I've been Tim. Uh, Spencer. Dan. We'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.